Happy Monday, party people. We're going to talk about this week's exciting things that are going to happen in Hearthstone. One of them is the mini set launches in 24 hours. It's going to change things. We have three decks for you this week that are below 5,000 dust, so you don't have to spend an arm and a leg. Um, do we know if the mini set is going to make massive changes and if it's worth the purchase? I think we're going to get into that a little bit. Uh, but first, let's talk about win rates. Um, for this week, it's been Hunter, Paladin, Warrior. I'm really happy that Warrior did not get nerfed, like an emergency nerf. That's what everybody was talking about early last week. Um, I love the Highlander Warrior right now. And I don't want it nerfed. I don't want it nerfed at all. And then Warlock. And then the rest of the decks, you know, the rest of the classes, Druid, Death Knight, Priest, not a lot to see there. Like I said, the mini set's coming out. We might see some movement, I would imagine, at least on a few of these classes, maybe to bring them up higher on the win rates. Let's go over individual classes and let's look at the decks. Let's go over those archetypes here. Death Knight, it's Plague and Rainbow. Hasn't changed much, but we do have a deck for you that's Death Knight that's different. We haven't talked about it. Uh, Demon Hunter is sad. It's just Shopper, Demon Hunter, and that's it. Um, nothing else. Do I think that the cards are going to change things from the mini set for Demon Hunter? We shall see. Druid's in a good place. We have this hybrid Druid we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, we have Highlander and we have Dragon Druid. Dragon Druid's going to be here forever, and the mini set is probably going to make it even stronger maybe no maybe i don't know uh hunter hunter is top of the win rates right now it's got spell it's got highlander it's got breakfast it's got death rattle it's got a lot of options there and i think the mini set cards for hunter are going to make those even better uh mage is a little sticky as well you've got elemental mage um and that's really about it the spells for mage don't look crazy amazing there's one cool one but i don't think these are gonna make any massive win rate moves for mage paladin's in a good place um you know you have flood you have hand buff you have highlander there's nothing wrong with paladin right now i don't think the cards that are coming in the mini set are going to make a massive adjustment uh zarini priest with priest priest has the best cards i think of the mini set um, I'm excited to see if anything moves in terms of that. Um, you see this here, Highlander Priest is like 46.9%. And this is Bronze to Gold, this is the last week. Um, this 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 could have some different uh, moves in the next couple of days because like I said, those Priest cards from the mini set look really good. And Rogue is just sad. Rogue is, it's, it's time for Rogue to get some sort of change. Um, I do think the mini set cards for Rogue are pretty strong. Whether or not that brings anything up above 50% win rates, we shall see. Uh, Shaman, it just has Highlander Shaman. Um, you know, Nature Shaman and Burn Shaman were doing great a few weeks ago, but those nerfs and, you know, some of the other classes just easier to play. Shaman is a technically capable deck um, as long as you know how to play them. Uh, Warlock has many, many options. Uh, Insanity, Sludge, Mining, Pain, you name it. Warlock has a archetype that you can absolutely play um i don't know if any of the mini set cards are going to move the needle anywhere um but they're cool looking cards and then warrior has highlander control control is just barely eking there 50.6 if you're playing warrior you're probably playing highlander um that's a cool deck in my opinion i'm glad it wasn't nerfed and i don't think any of the cards um for the mini set are going to change things but that doesn't mean that they needed to be changed first deck we are going to talk about today is hybrid druid 52.3 percent win rate 1720 dust you take a little bit of the hero power druid and you take a little bit of the dragon druid you merge them all together and you have this deck this deck looks quite fun let's talk about it so you have gift wrap well what do we want to do with gift wrap well we want to be able to make sure that we have a dragon in hand so we're giving this and the minion a uh, plus one plus one magical dollhouse is obviously gain a little bit of spell damage this turn only you're going to want that for all the spell damage that you can do in this deck you have malfurion's gift to discover temporary feral rage wild growth or swipe it's all dependent on what you need at the time use this and you have two of them so you have the opportunity to use um one or the other multiples you know the deal uh peaceful piper choose one draw a beast or discover one so you might need to discover a beast if you um you know need it but mainly you want to go after groovy cat 
one of the reasons why you want to do that. Bottomless toy chest, discover a card in your deck. If you have spell damage, copy it. So use your little magical dollhouse to make sure you have spell damage and then use that toy, that toy chest and you'll be able to have a copy of it. Groovy Cat, we know what Groovy Cat does. The battle cry and death rattle is your hero power. It gives your hero one more attack this game. We want that, and we know why we want that. We want to be able to do more damage with your uh, hero power. And then Sing Along Buddy is your hero power triggers twice. Um, while this is definitely something that your opponent is going to want to, you know, take off of your board as soon as you have it, you have two in this deck, so use it sparingly. Um, Splish Splash Whelp, we know what this is. If you're holding a dragon, you'll gain an empty mana crystal. And then Swipe, we know what Swipe does. Deal four damage to an enemy and one am damage to all other enemies. Use that, hopefully, while you also have Magical Dollhouse. We have Take to the Skies, draw two dragons. Give them plus one, plus one. If you have the opportunity, always put this in your mulligan so you'll have the opportunity to drawing both of those dragons. We have Trog Gem Tosser, um, the finale. So remember, you have to make sure you're using this to where you're using all the mana. Deal one damage to a random enemy for each of your mana crystals. You'll find this useful in this deck. Chia Drake, miniaturize the choose one is gain spell damage or draw a spell. Um, you can pick and it's got the miniaturize, so you're technically getting two of them, but there's two in the deck, so you're getting four of them. You know the drill. Desert Nest Matron. Uh, Taunt, Battle Cry, if you're holding a dragon refresh for mana crystals one of the best dragons for druid uh, this just gives you an opportunity to play more during your turn you've got spread the word draw two cards cost one less for each attack your hero has so if you've been able to do the uh, groovy cat a little bit um, you'll be able to play this much uh, sooner only at two mana maybe even three you know one mana that type of thing. And then Woodland Wonder, summon two, two, five beetles with taunt, cost three less if you have spell damage. We know what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this for the spell damage. So there's lots of things that you can switch out from there. If you want it to be more dragon druid, you can add a couple more dragon cards in there. If you want it to be more a hero power druid, add a couple of other of the hero power, uh, you know, benefiting cards. But this deck is, is pretty fun. Um, I like the idea that the spell damage is useful for the cards um, that you're needed, not specific to spells or what have you. So it's a good deck. I think that this deck, after the mini set, we might see some more refinement. Um, there's a couple of opportunities there, and I'm excited to see what happens when the mini set drops. Next up, we have Spell Mage, 2,460 dust with a 62.1% win rate. And listen, Mage is not doing great on the win rates, and it doesn't have a lot of decks. This is the only deck that has a lot of uh, above 50% win rates. So the idea here is just use a lot of your um, cards to play spells to play the small minions that are there. I don't even think, yeah, there's barely any minions in here, but we're gonna get into it. So Flame Geyser, we know what this does. Cosmic Keyboard, after you cast a spell, summon an elemental with stats equal to its cost. Lose one durability. We have two of these and that's good. I would not use these the first turns. I would use these the later turns. You have Frostbolt with freezes. That's perfect for what you need. There's a lot of big minions out there that wanna punch you in the face. So keep them from, uh, hitting you in the face if you're fighting um any type of warrior anyone that has weapon damage try to use these frost bolts on them so they're not popping off their weapon bonuses a uh, heat wave deal two damage to an enemy minion and its neighbors quick draw to all enemies instead so try to not mulligan for this card absolutely infinitize the maxitude we know what this card does we've seen it it's one of the most popular and probably the strongest card for mage in the past couple of sets i would absolutely consider crafting this if you haven't already you still have time before it rotates primordial glyph, glyph discover a spell and reduce it by two you'll want extra spells and that's what thing mage does um stargazing draw a different arcane spell if you play it this turn cast it twice don't play this right away play this to where you can you know do the same thing uh two times 
give it some give it a bit of time here void scripture discover a spell if you have enough mana to play it cast a copy of it at a random enemy um make sure that the spells that you're going to cast do something to the enemies not, and especially not buff them um elemental companion is summon a random elemental companion remember these are on board it's going to go onto the board right then and there um and it's random so you could get something really really weak uh light show two shoot two beams at enemies that each deal two damage your future light shows shoot one more beam you have two of them and then there's potential that you can um create additional with the uh the, the stargazing as well uh, molten rune we know what molten rune does make sure you forge this so it casts twice it's a great spell reverberation summon a copy of a minion each one dies after taking damage this is another one. You know what this is going to do. This is going to cause your opponent some headaches with them having crazy things on board that you could just make a copy of and then just use your hero power to knock it down. Fireball, deal six damage. Frost, Lich, Cross, Stitch. Say that three times fast. Deal three damage to a character if it dies. Summon a three, six. Water elemental that freezes. There's, you know, there's potential there. Keep it on board and then it freezes, obviously. That's helpful. Spot the difference. Discover a three-cost minion to summon. If your deck has no minions, repeat this. This is a great spell, um, especially if you can repeat this. And you can because, like I said, there's no minions in this deck. And then Manufacturing or draw three cards. If your deck has no minions, they cost three less. So being able to pop some stuff off much, much cheaper is a good thing. Uh, try this deck out like i said the, the mini set i don't think is going to make some crazy changes but if there is a spell mage that's doing positive in the win rates i have a feeling that any one of those mage um cards that it's coming from the mini set could go into this deck and last but absolutely not least i'm very excited about this deck it's the hand buff death knight with a 54.4 percent win rate for only 1080 dust listen for the past few months now one of the top um budget decks for death knight has been unholy death knight and now we have something that's really low cost and looks really well it has a lot of good cards and this is a rainbow um death knight that's budget deck it's awesome let's go through it uh first of all body bagger gain corpses corpses are beneficial for you um especially in the in the um you know further down the uh game as you go we have the lesser spinel spellstone give undead in your hand plus one plus one use this gain the five corpses obviously look body bagger gains those corpses and then you'll go ahead and you'll be able to uh you know increase the power of the undeads by the more corpses you gain you got mining casualties this is a great card that's been used quite often i haven't seen a death knight deck that didn't run this very recently um shambling zombie tank is awesome as well um this is going to spend a lot of your corpses, but you want to do that to summon a copy of it because what's better than one 3-2 with taunt? It's two 3-2 with taunts. Um, Acolyte of Death, if your friendly undead dies, draw a card. So if you're looking for card draw, you have that. You have mining casualties. You have the hero power to draw those cards. And listen, a lot of these little mini ones, there's crop rotation, summon four, one, one undead with rush that die at the end of the turn. You could use that absolutely with Acolyte of Death. And then we have Chill fallen baron that does card draw and puts a little minion on board um crop rotation we went through dark thorn quilter at the end of your turn deal this minion's attack damage randomly split among enemies so before you use this try to put dark thorn quilter in your hand nairubians nairubian swarm guard excuse me this is a taunt and then the battle cry is summon two copies of this minion this is another one you're gonna want in your hand and buff it up with the lesser spinel spellstone you got the quartzite crusher with lifesteal freeze any character damaged by your hero remember i said it a little while ago if you have um your opponent is using a weapon or you don't want that weapon to hit off just use this to freeze i was playing i was a uh, highlander warrior playing against a um, death knight and i couldn't get any of my weapons to pop off for a while now because he had two of these uh cards in his deck 
Sickly Grime Walker. Say that three times fast. After you summon an undead, give it poisonous. This works well with crop rotation. It works well with a lot of cards. So you'll be able to use that one. Make sure you have multiple opportunities. Don't just waste this on a 1-1 one, one of your hero power. Really do some damage with that board. Um, amateur Puppeteer. Miniaturized Taunt. Death Rattle. Give undead in your hand. Plus two, plus two. Plus it has the mini version that gives it, you know, plus one, plus one. This is a great card as well. Make sure you have all those fun cards that we talked about in your hand before you start buffing these, okay? Amateur Puppeteer, we just talked about that. Corpse Bride, spend up to 10 corpses to summon a Risen Groom with Taunt, that much attack and health. Um, listen, you're gonna gain and lose corpses a lot here, but you're going to probably lose more, uh, gain more corpses than you are gonna lose, so spend them all. Spend them all, get a 10 mana, 10-10. Okay, Hollow Hound. This is another thing you want to set up with the Lesser Spinel or, you know, the Amateur Puppeteer. Get this as big as possible because the, the this payoff for this one is you, you might be at one or two health. This can easily make your character all the way back up to full health. Absolutely. And then Stitch Giant rounds us out. Costs one less for each corpse you've spent this game. So spend those corpses. Spend them all if you can and get the 8-8 eight, eight on board. It could be even more if you You've buffed it with the Lesser Spinel Spell Stone and the Amateur Puppeteer. This is an interesting deck. I think that some of the uh, mini set cards across the board are going to adjust this a little bit. Um, I would definitely say that this deck will be seeing a little bit more of. This is kind of like a budget uh, version of the Rainbow Death Knight deck that's out there, but that one's super expensive. This one's very low cost. And then you could also, with how cheap this is, you could just move this around to make this the Unholy Death Knight that you'd want it to be if you don't have any dust whatsoever. That's all I have for this week. Hope you have fun with the mini set that's coming out. It'll be interesting to see how the meta adapts to the mini set coming out. I did have some predictions. There's a couple of cards I think they're going to be busted and used a lot. And there's a couple that I don't think we'll see much use of, if any use of. So we will go over that next week and I will see you all in the tavern.